All right, just um, was having trouble loosening this retaining ring. Um, so maybe this setup will help you if you have a, um, a vise on your bench. Go ahead and snug that up um, on the ball end and uh, give this a snug here on the bottom for the height adjustment so that then the body, the threaded body doesn't spin. And then you can go ahead and loosen this. So what I'm trying to do is just get it all loose and then just set it to the factory recommended preload on the springs. Following these um, coilovers from Faction Fab, recommend going to their um, video on YouTube on how to adjust the preload. So I'll just kind of give you a, a quick rundown. And basically you want all the collars, the, the um, retaining screws loose. This one that's going to actually adjust, set the preload to be just touching so there's no movement. And then what you're going to do is bring this up snug and then you're going to tighten this to about the thickness of the wrench that they provide which I believe is four millimeters. So, but go to their website for all that adjustments. Um, I'm just kind of showing you how I installed mine. So I hope this helps you. All right, so I just wanted to show you one of the preload processes. So I have no movement on the spring up and down. Uh, this is just snug up to it. So this is kind of our starting zero preload. Bring this one up, snug it, hold that one in place, and then what I'm going to do is tighten this, which will start adding preload to the spring or compressing it. And again, Faction Fab recommends moving the distance of the spanning wrench, which is, I have achieved. So just I can get it in there, move it freely. That's my roughly four millimeters of preload. Now this won't, this will give me the most comfort for the spring. So, and that's what I'm looking for, this will be my daily driver. So now I have to tighten this one while trying to keep this one as stationary as I can. My preload. So now um, their video also and their website provides a kind of a chart on the height of the overall height of the shock. So I'm going to look into that and just kind of see where I want to put it. All right, so I'm trying to figure out how to relate the thread distance to adjust my coilovers on the front. I know the maximum and minimum travel on the shock itself, and that equates to the uh, the ride heights here. The and basically it's from the center hole on the top, I believe, to the uh, top face of the mounting face on the uh, top of the shock. Um, so that's about two and three quarters inches of height difference. So I'm thinking 85 millimeters, um, just basically dividing the height by the millimeters. And this is what I'm getting. So I'm going to try to drop it half an inch in the front. And I think I'm going to have to move it 15.4 millimeters um, as far as thread distance between the uh, locking nuts. So I'm going to take these over here. So I'm going to measure, I'm going to try to find that distance again, roughly from up here, face, which would be kind of this surface up here. And I think it's the um, center of this hole. At least it is on the rears. But I'll find that relationship and then see if I can equate that. I forgot to measure the 
the gap here before I started. So, and I don't feel like putting the tires back on. So I'll do a little experiment and then what I'll do is uh, let you guys know if that worked. All right, so I'm basically at the top surface where the uh, shock mounts to the body there. And I'm just gonna measure the center of that top mounting hole and that's 14 and 5 eighths. So I wanna see if that'll equate to half an inch taking taking it down 15.4 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is drop this back down to the four millimeters of preload so I get all the travel I can on this. Um, but this is the one that I need to loosen uh, to get the, the, the height adjustment. Um, and basically the whole shock will spin and go in. But uh, I'll show you how to do an adjustment. This is four millimeters. I did this twice. It's The lowest setting is kind of how they... Fax and Fab says to start it out. And uh, I'll go ahead and bring it back down to the recommended it shouldn't go anywhere so now i'm going to loosen this take this up 15.43 milliliter millimeters. Turn a little bit. There's a wave washer on there. So you have to be aware of that when you're measuring. I'm going to measure the top surface of that wave washer on the low spot. All right. I'm trying to not let that move and now I'm just going to turn the shock in until it gets down there. I think before winter gets here, I'm going to try to get some uh, shock boots, cover this from the salt and such. So, see how that goes, too. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it down. I think I've done as much. Yeah, spring washer helps keep that secure without going crazy on it. So hopefully what I'll see here is 14 and an eighth to the center hole. Oh yeah. So it appears that it dropped a half an inch. So I think I cracked the code here, but 
We'll find out when I get it down on the ground too. Apologize for not uh, measuring the wheel first, but I'll be able to tell looking at it. All right, so if you want to get this down, if you're using the uh, Faction Fab F spec and you want to relate millimeters of adjustment to inches of ride height, uh, that's the rear. So basically every millimeter of change is 0 0.0536 inches. And then on the front, every millimeter of adjustment on those threads will give you 0 0.0324 inches of uh, height difference. So refer to the, um, they have a good little video on how to adjust preload. And then they have a nice table on the, the chart where I um, got these specs. This is basically the, the maximum amount of threads um, that you can install it at. And then this is the minimum. In the front, that's like slammed. I can't even, I don't even know how you'd get a tire in there. Um, and then this is the rear. The rear settles in pretty quick. Um, what I'll do also is when I get my height settled, I will measure the thread distance between the two lock washers and just tell you where mine are set out and then if you like that stance, um, that'll save you a lot of trouble. Alright, hope it helped. Time to go to the other side. Alright, so I like the stance I have. I'll show you in a second what it looks like. Um, so in the front, the distance of threads between the two um, lock washers, uh, lock locking nuts. Um, in the front I have 47.2 millimeters and in the back 32.3. So you get somewhere in that ballpark um, and then I'll get some photos of how it stands for us.